Okay, the morning news, good. All right, <laughs> we're going to do two-point perspective drawing today. And you need to write this at the top of your paper, along with the elements that go with two-point perspective drawing. We've got vanishing point, perspective lines, horizon line. These are all used also in one-point perspective drawing. And the new element in two-point perspective drawing is called the station point. What is the station point, Diamond? Um, where the artist is standing. Where the artist is standing. That's right. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started here. And what I want you to do is to draw a horizon line on your paper like that. You need to label it horizon line. Okay? Now, since we're doing two-point perspective drawing, how many vanishing points do we have? Anyone? Two. 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 Good. One-point perspective drawing, you have one vanishing point. With two, you have two vanishing points. There you go. Now, the one element that we do not have in one-point perspective drawing is called the station point. This is where the artist is standing. All right, you also need to label this. I can guarantee that this is on your quiz station point, so know what it is. All right, so this is what you need to do. We're going to build a building, and so you need to drop a perpendicular line, perpendicular to your horizon line. Make sure it's only about one inch above your horizon line and a half an inch below. And this is the corner of the building that you are standing the closest to. So you're standing right in front of this corner. So everything on your building that is to the right of where you're standing is going to vanish into the vanish point on the right. Everything to the left is going to vanish into the vanishing point on the left. So we're going to go ahead and do perspective lines. We talked about this in the one point perspective drawing. All perspective lines go into vanishing points. The road we did vanished into the vanishing point. So just remember, perspective lines are used to keep things in proportion with each other as they disappear into the vanishing point. Like that. All right, this is one um, decision that you get to make, and that is how, how uh, long your building is going to be on each side. So go ahead and draw perpendicular lines. These are perpendicular to your horizon line, and this is how long your building is going to be on the right side, and this is how long it's going to be on the left side. You might have chosen to make yours just a little bit shorter. It does not matter. That's your choice. Okay, the next step is we've got to find out the pitch of our roof, and this is how you do it. You're going to take and find out the measurement of the left side of your building. You're going to put your ruler up there, see how long it is. This happens to be 12 and a half inches, so that's going to be 6 and a quarter is going to be my halfway point, okay? So you, you find out the number or the length of that and divide it by two and make a mark. Then what you do is you drop a perpendicular line at where your halfway point is, like that. Okay, the farther up you make the line, the more pitched your roof will be. A church building, they always have very tall pitched roofs, or the majority of them do. And so, I think what I'll do is I'm going to go ahead and make mine just a little bit taller because it makes the roof easier for you to see when we come back on this other side. Okay, so you get to choose how tall you want your pitch roof to be. So I'm going to make mine all the way up here. And then you draw a line, a solid line, from the top of your pitch roof there to the side of your building, not the vanishing point, to the side of the building. You do that both on the left and right of the pitch roof, like that. Next, you're going to make a perspective line. So this is a perspective line. Where do I draw this perspective line? Yes? Uh, like where you want, like... Uh, where do I draw? It's a perspective line. So what does it have to go to? It has to go to the vanishing point. It has to go to the vanishing point. Very good. 
So let me go ahead and draw it, and then I'll get out of the way, and you'll be able to see. So I'm going from the top of my roof to the vanishing point on the right, like that. Okay? Yes? What happens if you draw yours too short? Like, if you, what happens if you did that? If you made this roof shorter? then it makes it just a little bit more difficult back here. And it doesn't mean that it's wrong, but I did mine really tall so that it, you'll be able to see everything. I, you can make it shorter, but it's going to make it a little more confusing for you back here, even though it's correct. It would be like if you go to, um, say you go to a really tall building, say you go to Walmart, and you stand really close to the building, and if you look <coughs> up, you can't see the roof, right? You can't because you're too you're too close to it. So that's what would happen. You wouldn't be able to see all of what's going on up there. So that's why I pitched it really high. Okay, now these two steps, the next two steps, are critical steps because we have to find out where the roof on the back end here meets. So we've got to find this point on the very back. So this is how you do it. We're going to do some dotted lines. From the side of your building on the right, over here, the bottom of the side of your building, all the way to the vanishing point on the left, like that. The next dotted line is from your halfway mark on the side of your building where you measured it, and you will draw a dashed line to the vanishing point on the right. Where those two lines intersect, you need to make a mark. Okay, now put your ruler on that mark and drop a perpendicular dashed line. Like that. Where these two lines intersect, your, your perpendicular line and the uh, perspective line that you drew from the top of your pitched roof to the vanishing point on the right, you'll make a mark right there where those two lines intersect. And that is the pitch of the roof on the opposite end. So what you'll do is you will draw a line from the top of the side of your building right here to where those two lines intersect. And there you go. If I take these away, it makes it a little bit easier to see. There. Now you've got a completed building. It goes to the side of your building right here. See? So now you've got it. Now watch, if I if I raise these just a little bit so you get rid of all this confusion in here. There, now you've got a completed building. Get rid of our horizon line. I'll get rid of all these in the middle. There you go. Now you've got a building. No problem. I'll help you. We're going to go ahead and finish this videotape for people that are absent. And then we're going to, we'll do it together. We'll do it step by step. Okay, now let me show you how to do windows and doors really quickly. This is very simple. It, you have to use perspective lines. So using perspective lines, what do I, where do I put my ruler? It has to be, one end has to be on. Uh, the, uh, <laughs> Okay, so on this left hand side, I'm going to make a door. So I have to have my ruler has to go into a vanishing point because it is a perspective line. <laughs> just like our road on one point perspective drawing. Let me just draw this real quick and I'll get out of your way. There you go. You put a door knob on it. There you go. There's a door. Windows. Watch this. It's also a perspective line, so we've got to have one part of the ruler go where? Into the vanishing, the vanishing point. Very good. Okay. So here's your windows. Watch how this happens. This is so easy. If 
you make sure that your ruler goes into the vanishing point. And it's going to be a perpendicular line all the way back. Would you like make squares throughout the windows? Then? You sure can. And if you did make squares, make sure that they're perpendicular lines to your horizon line or your your uh, ruler goes into the vanishing point. Yes? Um, okay, and we'll go over that in just a few minutes. Okay, this is how you do two-point perspective drawing. And so... Um, I'll go ahead and answer some more questions, but this is the end of our video. So if you'll turn that off, Kate, thank you.